Okay, what do you guys think? It gives me plenty of room to expand even more stuff when I get it. Like right here, I can add even more like uh, robes or something. In fact, let's put down some more robes just to fill out the space. There we go. Ah, look at this. So very nice. In fact, I can, might be able to put some arrows there and maybe some more stuff like... Uh, do I have any more of those good robes? The red robes? Ah, here we go. And maybe once I open up some more stuff, I'll be able to stick it right here. I did put the weeds down because that was my only weed shelf. So yeah, let's go ahead and open up for the day. Ah, and see if we can actually get some good stuff here. Look at this. We actually have tier 2 robes. Uh, tier 2 uh, druids now. We have wooden armor all over the damn place. We have everything cleaned up, and it does look like these uh, floor mats are uh, doing their job, keeping everything clean. Don't have nearly as much dirt around here as I usually do. So that is very nice, though it still begs the question of, do I need to repair them at any point, or do they just wear out? I don't really know. I still don't know. They haven't worn out yet. I've just had to uh, re repair them, well not repair them, just kind of clean around them doesn't look like they've been worn down at all. So yeah. Ah, uh, but look at this. Now we have all these wooden pants, all these wooden chest pieces. It, I think they might actually start selling since, yeah. I mean, I've had these sitting here since like forever. And uh, Lord of Druid's stuff. And I don't know if they, anyone was actually able to buy it yet. So it's just been taking up space, to be honest. Along with a lot of the stuff I've been getting. Uh, but yeah, let's go take a look and see. Ah, he is back. Let's see what he got us this time. Oh, uh, look at this. Anything good? And it's always another Dragon Claw staff. Not too bad. So he's level 12. Um, do you think it's worth it to send him out to the higher level stuff? To Sky Island. Let's do it. Let's send him out to Sky Island to see what he gets us. So let's go put this Dragon Claw staff somewhere. In fact, let us take off one of, uh, ooh, what else can I move? I mean, I've got plenty of stuff. I guess I can stick it in here. In fact, I might be able to stick it uh, on one of these shelves. There we go. Just for now, since I don't really have a dedicated spot for it, like I do everything else. Uh, what quest did I still have? I don't know. I don't know, but I still need to get, ah, 12 more weeds sold. Very nice. Let's go dump this in there. There we go. Bop. Ah, oh, yes. Very nice. Boom. Ah. So, yeah. I am starting to get everything unlocked. I am still running out of money, though. I've only got 22k left. 22,000. Which is not good. Especially considering the main thing I want to get is that cauldron unlocked. So I can actually, uh, start making everything I really want to make. Look at this. We have a druid. And it looks so funny. That hat. It's hilarious. Let me look at this. It looks like he's wearing a green, like, uh, a green beret on top of a half coconut. That's what it looks like. I mean, it's made of wood, so it's not really a coconut, but that's what it makes me think of. It just looks absolutely silly to me. Ah, uh, especially since he's now bald. <laughs> that's the funny part. It happens with all the helmets. They just lose their helmet, lose all their hair as soon as you put them on. And here's another one gone. And she's just so happy to be wearing it too. That's the funniest part. She's just smiling up a storm, absolutely ec ecstatic. <laughs> Everyone's just wearing them now. It's funny. Oh, they're just happy to be wearing a helmet, I guess not even concerned about getting splinters in their bald heads. I mean, do those have liners in them? Do they have proper lining? Do, is there like a felt lining inside of it? Or is it just a hollowed out log? I mean, is it at least smoothed out? Is it at least buffed and polished with proper sandpaper? Who knows? Probably not. I mean, just looking at it, it doesn't look like it is. It looks like somebody just took a log right out of the woods and just dumped it in my shop after carving eye holes into it. <laughs> I don't know why. I just find that hilarious. It just looks so stupid. Oh, at least the wizard stuff actually looks like wizard stuff. I mean, granted, these are druids, after all. They're not the uh, most fashion-savvy 
of individuals, but still, wearing a wooden log on your head, not the most protective gear you could think of, or at least not the pr most protective stuff I could think of. And it's not very flexible either. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're literally just strapping logs to themselves. Wood is famously not the most flexible stuff to wear. I mean, look at this guy. Look at him. It's just so silly. I don't know why. I just find it hilarious, but I do. Oh. I mean, they're druids at least. I mean, leather I can understand. That's fairly flexible, fairly good for combat. But covering yourself in wood, how, how, how does that help in any real way? No, seriously, how does that help in any real way? I'm, I'm asking a serious question. I mean, I'm sure you could make it similar to the way you do, like, uh, steel plating. To have, like, uh, segments that allow you to move and shift next to each other. And we already got the quest done, so I don't need to do that anymore. But yeah, how, how are they able to move in solid wooden plates like that? I don't know. But we got another quest for even more weed. So very, very nice. Ah. Oh, have you already sold out on all those helmets? Uh, I don't know, but we've had a run on them so far today. So it might be a good idea to restock really quick. Here we go. Ah, oh, look at this. Uh, anything else need to be restocked really quick? No? Looks like everything else is okay at the moment. Uh, ooh. I do need to restock on all of my scrolls. Holy crap. I've had a massive run on these. Well, guess we have some novice engineers out there hoping to build their own traps. Or at the very least, steal my stuff. What the hell? Two of them. They're just sitting right there. Skeletons sitting in the middle of my shop. Minding their own damn business. Ugh, I find that weird. And no one even bothers to tell me. I mean, I am sitting there. No one even bothers. That's the weirdest part. No one says anything about it. They just kind of walk right by them as if they're just decorations. I mean, uh, granted, that's how kind of how I treat them. Kind of how I want to treat them. Uh, feather of Rav pants. Feathers of Rav pants? What? So did I get anything else new? Ooh, sky gouger, candles, candles, and what is he fighting here? <gasps> uh, approached by Rav the Bird Lord. Rav the Bird Lord. Feathers of Rav pants. Holy crap, very nice. He actually survived. And survived and came back to tell the tale. So yeah, let's send him back out to Sky Island. So what is this? Sky gouger. It's a dagger. Kind of. Looks like a dagger. Uh, let's up the price a bit. And we can stick it out here. I think I'll stick it here. And... What was that other thing? Ooh, here we go. Feathers of Rav Pants. Very nice. Uh, bop. It kind of just looks like the other pants I've already got. Huh. Do I have any place? Ah, here we go. Bop. I don't know if anyone's going to be able to buy that. I'm guessing those are kind of druid gear, druid pants. That sounds like something a druid would wear. Feathery pants. I don't know why. That's just the kind of uh, image I get from druids. That they're kind of nature-y guys who like to wear wood, who like to wear feathers, and are just kind of odd like that. I don't know. Maybe it's stereotyping. Maybe it's just, that's just what they are. I don't know. That's just the way they are, stupid druids. Running around in feathers and wood and pants and stuff like that. It ain't right. I, I don't even know if they wear proper underwear. Underpants. Are they wearing proper underpants? Are they wearing these wooden pants on top of there? I mean, that's a that's how you get splinters. And that's not very comfortable. I don't care who you are. Even if you are a druid, having splinters down there, having splinters anywhere, is very, very uncomfortable. Ah. And it brings me back to the point of the fact that helmets remove people's hair. So, having splinters on top of your head is even worse. I mean, if you have it on your leg or on your hand, you can at least see that kind of thing. But having a splinter on the back of your head, you can't get to that. You can't... You have to stand there in front of a mirror trying to pull that damn thing out. And if it's one of those little tiny splinters, those little, little bitty, itty bitty ones that just get under your skin and annoy the hell out of you, that's not fun to deal with, especially when it's on the back of your friggin' head. How do you deal with that? Or what if it's on your back because you're wearing a uh, 
wooden armor, and it's just right there, right there in the middle of your back. I mean, I have trouble scrubbing my back sometimes, much less getting a splinter out of there. Ugh. Ooh. And he bought the staff. Look at this. He's wearing a wooden helmet, and he bought the staff. So very nice. Ah. So you got anything good? No. Oh, let's see if we can sell her something while we're at it. Uh, plate? You like plate stuff? Here, have a plate chest piece. There you go. Nice and protected. Okay, where's the wood? The weeds? There you go. Oh, how many more do I need to sell here? I'm not really sure. Fifteen more. Okay, let's just get back to selling. Hopefully we can get this done. There we go. 120 points. So very nice. And I only have like two left, which is even nicer. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. What other quest do I got? Because, uh, what other quest? How many points do I have now? I have 295. Oh, that means I could open up one more level of Adventurer. Or I could save up to try and get this. Because that would give me a little bit more profit which would put me on the road to be able to get uh, a little bit more profit would mean I would be able to get a little bit more towards uh, actually getting the stuff I need. Because more money is better. More money is always better. Oh no! Sir gets knocked out a lot was defeated. No! Oh, that sucks. So he was knocked out by... He got candles, he got candles, candles, and he got knocked out by Rav the Bird Lord. Oh, that sucks. But that's the risk you take. So maybe he does need to be, like, level 15 might be good. So let's send him back to Dragon Claw Cave. I mean, that seems like just the right area for him, just the right level for him right now to be able to do it uh, consistently. Uh, uh, sucks that there's no more weed quests. Ooh, gold. Um... I don't really want to do the gold one simply because I do not have enough gold to do it, which is the worst part. So let's go with this one. Let's get more of those two-handed swords sold to any warriors who happen to be around. Uh, any warriors at all. Uh, it sucks that I don't have another weed quest, because I love the weed quests for more than one reason. One, I'm selling weed to people, which is hilarious in and of itself. But it's also a fairly simple quest that has so very many people that are willing to... Uh, wait a minute, she already has a two-hander. No, that sucks. She already has it. Aw, oh, that sucks. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, the best part is the fact that it uh, gives me 120 points. Coupled with the fact that so very many people can just have it. I mean, I've got the rogues, I've got the mages, I've got the druids. There's no... The only ones who don't really want it are the warriors. So I don't have to worry nearly as much about finding a specific one. Because right now, I have to find warriors to sell my two-handers to. Which is the drawback of this quest. It only works on warriors. I mean, granted, I only need to sell like eight of them, so it's not too bad. But at the same time, it still sucks. That it's just so limited. Ah. Especially when they already have a two-handed sword. I mean, when somebody walks out with already having a weed, that's not too bad because it means they just bought it. So, not too bad. But when they run out with a sword, it might mean they already walked they walked in with that sword. So, yeah. Ah, oh, well. Let's see. Do you have anything? Ah. Broken gravestone. Again, i dubious about the uh, nature of where they got that. There we go. Ah, a warrior. Just what I was looking for. There you go. And another warrior who apparently just bought a sword, and there he's going to buy another one. I wonder, can you actually dual wield those two-handed swords? If you get, like, super amounts of strength, could you deal, dual wield them in some awesome kind of way? I don't know. It would be nice. Don't get me wrong. That would be awesome to watch. But, uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen. Ah, here we go. Ah, uh, let me, while you are running away in absolute terror, let me sell you a sword. And take out, what I'm guessing, one barbarian? No. Two barbarians, maybe? There's more coming? I still hear the music. I hear the music playing. Where are they coming from? Um, ah, there he is. 
Come here, you! Zazap. And a zazap cha chop. Oh no! No! You ran into my axe! You idiot! You saw me standing here attacking the barbarians and you ran into my axe, and I get penalized for it. That's. that's just not fair. 2,000 gold gone because someone was stupid enough to run into my axe. Well, how is that my fault? I'm standing there and they run into me. I'm swinging away, attacking the barbarian. I mean, come on, lady. Come on. At least give me the gloves you have on. Oh, it's just so sad. Look at the look on her face. It's just... <laughs> it's just so sad. Oh, and now I've run out of time. Oh, and I only needed two more two-handed swords left to sell. Oh. oh, well. Oh, well. Is that a warrior? Come here. Yes, it's a warrior. Which means I might be able to sell that last one. Oh, well. No, well. Is that... Ah. Okay. Well, I got one more sold. Not too bad. I still need to repair, clean up, and it does look like all of these uh, floor mats are working fairly well. I mean, look at this. There's not nearly as much dirt as there would be, and I haven't really been cleaning. I mean, look at this. There's no dirt in here. There's tons of skeletons, but no real large amounts of dirt. So that is fairly nice. That is very nice. Huh. Okay, let's go... Uh, I'll grab up this last skeleton on my way. In fact, let's put him in front of the doorway so I don't forget about him. Here we go. There we go. And then I will go through the trash. I will clean up. I will restock and come back tomorrow.